Shalom, praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We have a reason to wait upon the Lord and to trust in Him even now. He knows better. He is such a faithful God. And whenever we put our trust in the Lord, He never fails. We are reading from the book of Mark chapter 4. And I will read verse number 35 and 36. The Bible says, that day, when evening came, he said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along, just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. Praise the Lord. This is where Jesus calms the storm. And as we have read these two verses, we pick several things from the two verses. One is that it is Jesus who told his disciples, let us cross over to the other side. If it is him, we need not to fear. Secondly, we must be ready to leave the crowd behind. To go with Christ, we must leave the crowd behind. And stand out. Be where Christ is and move on. They took him along just as he was in the boat. They did not go alone. They did not tell Christ, go with the other boats across there. They took him along. Let us be like this singer who sang and said, I must have the Savior with me in my boat I must have the Savior with me. And when I have Christ on my side, even when the storm comes, I am not afraid because it is him who has said or was um, directed that we cross over to the other side. Are you feeling as if you are at a crossroad? If it is Christ who told you to take a step, fear not. He is such a good God. He is there to fight for you and to stand with you. Be ready to stand out, to stand strong. Don't hide within the crowd. Christ has already said, let us cross over to the other side. If you want to remain with the crowd, you stay there, but it is to your disadvantage. Leave the crowd behind and take a step of faith. Cross over to the other side. Bible says they took him along. Go with Jesus. Walk with the Lord. Be where Christ is. Follow his instructions. And Bible says there were other boats with him. Yes, we are surrounded by many other boats, but I want Christ to be in my boat. I want him to be in my boat. And not that he boards my boat and I board another one. I want to be where Christ is, and this will give us success, victory, and grace, and we shall be able to move on to the glory of God. Once again, it is Christ who has said, let us cross over to the other side. Allow him in your boat, and you'll never regret. May the Lord bless you, God keep you, even as we continue trusting in him. One as Kenyans, the Lord is in our boat. Fear not. He has a solution. He will make a way for us. Let us be strong and courageous. Again, our trust is in God. And when God is on our side, who can be against us? The Lord bless you. God keep you. Have a lovely week. Shalom, peace and comfort in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.